chanting Black Lives Matter, thousands gathering in London's Trafalgar Square despite lockdown rules to show solidarity with protesters in the US over the death of George Floyd. London's Mayor Sadiq Khan tweeting that the killing has, quote, rightly ignited fury and anguish not just in the US but around the world. And no country, city, police force or institution can be complacent about racism and the impact this has, unquote. There were also demonstrations in Berlin where people held signs similar to ones we see in the United States saying, I can't breathe and no justice, no peace. And a memorial to Floyd appeared in a park in Germany, a mural painted at a site that was once divided by the Berlin Wall. All right, Nick Robertson joins us uh, now from London as our international diplomatic editor. I mean, what's your take on how the world is viewing what is happening in the U.S. right now, Nick? Yeah, I think there's caution, there's concern, and there's a real desire to, to, to hope that the United States can... Um, you know, can make get back to some sort of sense of normality through this. Scott Morrison, the Australian Prime Minister, in the last few hours has has called this saddening as well. We heard from the British Foreign Secretary saying, uh, having very similar sentiments yesterday as well. Um, you know, when you have, you know, in this coronavirus situation where very few sporting events are going on and that those happening behind closed doors, you had yesterday a French soccer player, Jaden Sando, um, playing for a German club when he scored a goal. Remembering there's no audience there apart from the TV audience, pulls up his shirt so you can see justice for George Floyd uh, written on his undershirt. So um, th there's a depth, there is certainly a depth of feeling, um, and we know from the papers released by the scientific advisors to the government here in the UK recently, that there is concern about the sort of the, the, the potential for trouble during tensions uh, caused by people's frustrations around the current pandemic. So um, there is, there will be caution watching what's happening and how it impacts cities like London and Berlin.